In this week's edition of the Business Review, we take a look at lighting and electrical company Fosrich and its expansion plans. Cody Ann Barrett reports. Fosrich was established in 1993 with only three employees. The company is now a multi-million dollar firm with over 150 workers. In recent times, Fosrich has been growing organically and forging strategic partnerships. Managing Director Cecil Foster now announcing plans to break into the regional market. The Caribbean is open and we are already working to see how quickly we can get into that market. We are a part of the Export Max program and we are looking forward to telling the good news very, very shortly once we can tie down the uh, companies in the Caribbean that we are going to be exporting PVC pipes to. It's why the company has launched a new e-platform which allows the firm to reach customers wherever they are in the world. A customer can go on the platform wherever they are, uh, whether they are overseas or they are in their beds or they are in their offices. And when they make their purchases, they have a couple of choices. They can choose that they will be picking up in store. And so we have it ready for them to pick up as well as they can uh, um, choose to have us deliver to them wherever they are in the country. He says his company has always focused on training and building technical skills among staff. And as more opportunities arise, the businessman is improving the skills of his workers through an exchange training program being facilitated by a Canadian partner. We have just, uh, with our big brother, Camtron from Canada, the, the, one of the second largest transformer manufacturer in the world, we are now building out a um, rotation training system where a person will go to Canada and be trained for six months and make our transformers or parts for our transformers and come back here and then another set will go up and then be trained and come back here. He says that's how the company has been able to take on intricate projects like repairing transformers and manufacturing PVC pipes. But that's just the beginning. He says as the company continues to expand, more jobs will be created, especially at the Clarendon facility. One of the uh, buildings is being used to expand our PVC range of products to now include the manufacturing of the accessories, the PVC accessories. And so those two projects are being rolled out as we speak. And I am very happy to be employing people from Clarendon to work in Clarendon. And so we can deal with all the issues that people are facing. Cody Ann Barrett, TVJ News.